after the origin of lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere biosphere came into existence in biosphere it is natural vegetation that has very important place on our earth planet natural vegetation has place from the ancient period that because in our vedas and puranas there is a shlok vanaspatiya shanti aushadhaya shanti that is today it is important to study natural vegetation what is vegetation vegetation means different types of flora starting from very large size trees to shrubs scrubs and climbers and grasses and natural means natural growth thus the definition of natural vegetation will be the automatic growth of the seeds and their enlargement in the plant species those plant species may be of different size it means besides this natural vegetation there is one man engineered vegetation man cannot create vegetation it is really natural but the man can introduce tissue culture the change or transformation in the seeds their varieties and biotechnology in the vegetation or the floristic kingdom thus today our earth planet is covered with the natural vegetation as well as man engineered vegetation especially agriculture crop and other horticulture and agriculture thus after defining the vegetation and natural vegetation let us come to the factors which affect natural vegetation these are the main factors these are the main six factors which affect and control the growth and distribution of natural vegetation in world and especially in india the first one is structure means rocks if rocks are igneous means basalt and granite they prohibit the seeds to germinate and grow because the roots are not allowed to go inside these hard rocks at the same time the sedimentary alluvial soft uh, soft rocks allow the roots to go inside and take the food take the nutrients and have a large growth the second factor is relief relief means the height from sea level in the plain there is luxuriant growth of vegetation or flora contrary to it over plateau land there are growth of shrubs and scrubs while on the mountain tops there is the coniferous forest and as we go from equator to pole and they and get different types of vegetation zones in the same way from a mountain foot hill to mountain top the same vegetation zones are found thus it is topography which affects the vegetation growth in belts vertically and in india there are different mountains especially himalayas himalayas vindhyachal satpura which control the vertical zones of different vegetations third is slope if slope is very steep then the seeds roll down and trees are also fall down but if slope is gentle then there is stability in the floristic and faunistic kingdom for example in assam plain third fourth is climate climate varies from equator to pole that's why on the world map from equator to pole there are different climatic zones followed by different soil zones at the same time different floristic different floristic uh, regions for example equatorial climate to polar climate equatorial evergreen forest to polar or taiga coniferous forest in the same way in india 
it is climate that controls the nature of vegetation but but as in the world in india there are no vegetation zones because there are several other factors affecting the vegetation distribution in india and next for example in climate there are several other factors like temperature wind humidity or relative humidity and rainfall these independently affect the germination and growth of the vegetation or plant for example it is temperate that we have discussed there are thermal belts on the world as well as in india also which governs the distribution of vegetation likewise it is wind that controls the existence permanency of the vegetation or any or plants or plants and humidity also controls the nature of vegetation for example in northeast india there is more humidity which which supports rich vegetation contrary to it in west india especially in rajasthan there is arid condition which does not support luxuriant growth of vegetation likewise it is rainfall heavy rainfall supports dense vegetation of different species if rainfall is scarce then there is less growth of plants and different species next factor affecting the vegetation is soil or pedological factor as pedology or soil affects vegetation in world in the same way in india there are different types of soil starting from cape of comore into jammu and kashmir and gujarat to arunachal pradesh and due to this variation the vegetation growth is different and distribution of these forest also differ for example there is cotton or black soil red and yellow soil alluvial soil mountain brown soil which are responsible for the special variation in the floristic distribution next point is water availability of water besides rainfall there are a number of sources of water for example pond lake river and ground water which affect the distribution of vegetation for example along the river valleys over plateau in india there is galeria dense forest but if water is not available there is scarce scrubs and shrubs thus these are the factors affecting the distribution of flora or vegetation in world and in india but if there is question that among these which one is most important affecting factor you will tick this climate but if there is question that among these climatic factors which is most important then you will tick this thermal or temperature conditions are responsible for the distribution of vegetation in the world and in india after thermal or temperature condition it is the amount of rainfall and after studying these factors responsible for the distribution of vegetation let us study the types of natural vegetation especially in india there are different types of natural vegetation on the basis of their height or size first one is forest second one shorter than that is shrubs and scrubs there is basic difference between the shrubs and scrubs shrubs have the thick stem on which you can climb up contrary to it scrubs have small and thin stem you cannot climb on it and the third category is grasses which has no stem these are very short thus nature has categorized our world and india natural vegetation in three categories forest shrub and scrub and grasses in the forest we have this classification that is geographical based on their characteristics first one among these is the semi evergreen forest virtually evergreen forests are found 
in the world along the equatorial region and semi evergreen forest adjacent to the evergreen forest the semi evergreen forest are found in south india close or in the proximity with the evergreen equatorial forest which are found in the south west kerala and south east tamil nadu and the second one is the deciduous forest if we move to its north here in the central india deciduous forest are found to where the trees shed their leaves in a particular season and the third one is the thorny forest thorny forest mainly consist of some small trees mixed with the shrubs and these are of thorny nature found mainly in the central india where climate is continental type less rainfall black red and yellow and mixed soil it is found in here northwest andhra pradesh maharashtra and odisha and odisha and south mp there due to scarcity of rain the forest is of thorny nature next is mixed forest mixed forest means the deciduous forest and in the north coniferous forest it this is found especially in north east india and shivalik region especially to the foot hill or bhabhar and tarai in mixed forest there is the growth of deciduous trees as well as some coniferous species and it is very valuable forest because hard and soft both wood are found for furniture industry it is the best forest next is coniferous forest if you move further north in the himalayan region you will get coniferous forest where the species are of very soft nature devdar spruce silver fir these are the main species found over the middle himalayas and especially on the southern slopes of greater himalayas these forests found over the mountain brown soil are of significance because of the uh, soft wood mulch and paper and pulp industries thus these are important resource of the himalayan region thus we have studied these four in the belts means semi evergreen first in the south then deciduous then thorny then mixed and then in the himalayan region coniferous forest now next one is here the tidal forest which are found in the tidal areas or tidal regions tides generally occur in the coastal areas eastern and western coastal plains and these tidal forests are these tidal forests are located in the tidal areas and back water thus these are not high these species are generally hydrophyte not hygrophyte and in the eastern region the sundari trees and sundarban delta species and the west and in the west gujarat there is kach or garan vegetation where cher trees is very important thus these forests are luxuriant and these require salty water muddy water and saline water thus these are special and peculiar species the and their role is very important because they control the tidal hazards impact on the coastline they provide a very good and healthy ecosystem and wood for the manufacturing of the boat and next is here mangrove forest mangrove forest is also type of tidal forest which is found in the coastal area especially in gujarat and for their preservation a number of parks and marine national parks and sanctuaries have been have been planned which we will study and they have their important 
unique ecosystem in the coastal area and tidal area. Next is here Galeria forest. This is not a unique type of independent forest. Rather, in the South India, there are a number of rivers like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri. Although we have studied that the Central India is characterized with the, with the deciduous and thorny forest. But along these valleys, there is wet land, there is sufficient rainfall and along that valleys, the land is wet which supports the growth of luxuriant semi-evergreen forest and it looks like a gallery if you are traveling by boat in those rivers like Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, thus it looks like a gallery, hence it is called Galleria forest and it is relatively dense forest in the plateau land, thus it is part of deciduous forest and thorny shrubs. These are the geographical distribution wherein we have studied the forest belt from south to north, from the semi evergreen forest to the coniferous forest over Himalayas and at some specific places like tidal forest and these mangrove forest and galleria forest. Now let us come to study the distribution of these forest and vegetation uh, according to their characteristics because this was this was the thermal belt and this is on the basis of their nature and character. First one is mountain forest. We have to start this from the north because north area is mountainous which has a features a special height and in the mountainous region if we start from foothill to mountain top there are different climatic zones hence different type of the vegetation for example in himalaya if we start from Sivalik, we first get deciduous forest we go on the middle himalaya there is mixed forest if we reach on the greater Himalaya, there is coniferous forest and middle Himalaya have both plant or any plant species from south means Siwalik, there is deciduous species from north means greater Himalaya, there is coniferous species and these Himalayan vegetations have mixed nature hence these are of valuable importance. Now the second one is the tropical dry forest. If you see tropical dry forest, this region is uh, characterized with tropical dry forest. Tropical means along the Tropic of Cancer. Dry means here it is semi-arid area because here rainfall is scarce. The amount of rainfall is below 100 centimeter because of its continental position and the monsoon fails to come to rain here heavy that's why it is dry and second one and the one factor is here the uh, pedological conditions also don't favor the luxuriant growth of vegetation here it is black soil region and here it is mixed red soil region and red and yellow soil region which has less humus and it supports less nutrients to vegetation hence this second belt is the tropical dry forest which are of not so much uh, economic importance and they also have less environmental importance because the fauna is also not rich in this forest region. Next is tropical deciduous forest. It means if we see in the adjacent areas, tropical means along the Tropic of Cancer and to its south and deciduous forest means if there is some amount of rainfall, for example in coastal regions along the valleys, then here 
देन हेयर देयर इज लग्जरियंट ग्रोथ ऑफ डेंस ट्रीज सपोर्टिंग द रिच फोना एंड हैविंग अ रिच इको सिस्टम दस दिस वर्ल्ड दिस फॉरेस्ट दिस ट्रॉपिकल डेसीडुअस फॉरेस्ट डिफर्स फ्रॉम दिस ट्रॉपिकल ड्राई फॉरेस्ट एंड हेयर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज ट्रॉपिकल एवर ग्रीन फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल मीन्स एलॉन्ग द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर हेयर एवर ग्रीन मीन्स देयर इज लग्जरियंट ग्रोथ ऑफ डेंस फॉरेस्ट कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द लार्ज ट्रीज स्क्रब्स स्क्रब्स ग्रासेस एंड क्लाइंबर्स दीज आर मोस्टली फाउंड इन द ईस्टर्न इंडिया वेयर देयर इज रिलेटिवली हेवी रेनफॉल हेवी रेनफॉल मोर देन वन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर एनुअल एंड रिच सपोर्ट ऑफ वाटर मे बी ग्राउंड वाटर रेन वाटर आर सरफेस रन ऑफ एंड हियर डेसीडुअस एंड मिक्सड स्पेसीज ऑफ प्लांट्स आर फाउंड नेक्स्ट इज हियर एरिड फॉरेस्ट एरिड मीन्स इन द वेस्ट इंडिया इफ यू सी द राजस्थान नॉर्थ गुजरात एंड वेस्ट यू पी एंड एम पी दिस इज एरिड एंड सेमी एरिड वर्चुअली टू द वेस्ट ऑफ अरावली इट इज एरिड रीजन हैविंग वेरी लेस रेनफॉल लेस दैन फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर एनुअल ड्यू टू लेस रेनफॉल एंड ड्यू टू द एरिड पेडोलॉजिकल आर सॉयल कंडीशन वेयर सॉयल इज ड्राई हेयर द फॉरेस्ट ग्रोथ इज नॉट गुड ओनली द थारनी ट्रीज लाइक बबूल आर हेयर फाउंड दस हेयर देयर इज नो स्कोप ऑफ गुड फॉरेस्ट दस हेयर इज नो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ डेंस एंड गुड फॉरेस्ट only to the west of rajasthan along indra canal there is good and luxuriant growth of a dense forest in a particular belt along the canal otherwise the entire region has dry growth of the vegetation and next is deltaic forest deltaic forests are found in the delta region and delta are generally found in the eastern coast of india like हुगली महानदी गोदावरी कृष्णा कावेरी डेल्टा वेयर देयर आर टाइडल फॉरेस्ट एंड स्पेशल स्पेसीज आर हियर सुंदरी इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड उड़ीसा एंड मैंग्रूव वेजिटेशंस इन गुजरात एंड द वेस्ट कोस्टल प्लेन ऑफ इंडिया बिसाइड्स दिस डेल्टाइक रीजन इन द वेस्ट कोस्टल रीजन दीज आर आल्सो फाउंड which are of hydromorphic nature and these are called hydrophytes and grow in the saline water and saline muds thus these are the deltaic forest which are of special economic environmental and ecological significance because these first control the imbibed impact of the tides and this provides a very rich coastal ecosystem and wood for the manufacturing of boats thus these are the different types of soil on the basis of their characters especially india is in tropical and subtropical region that's why these vegetations have been categorized on the basis of term tropical subtropical arid dry and on the basis of these climatic conditions thus these are the two classifications of the indian forest one based on the tropical and subtropical conditions this one and the first one based on the thermal belts starting from cape of cape comorin to the himalayan vegetation after studying the characteristics nature distribution of the forest let us come to the small size of flora means the scrubs and the shrubs these are found all over india because india represents all the climatic conditions of world in world there are two types of shrubs and scrub one is tropical shrubs and the other is temperate shrub 
इन इंडिया देयर आर टू रीजन ट्रॉपिकल टू द साउथ ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर इट इज टेम्परेट दस टू द साउथ ऑफ कैंसर देयर आर सम स्क्रब्स एंड स्क्रब्स विच आर ऑफ द ट्रॉपिकल नेचर एंड स्पेशली हियर देयर आर थार्नी स्क्रब्स एज वी हैव डिस्कस एंड दीज आर फाउंड ओवर बिंध्यन एंड सतपुड़ा माउंटेन रेंजेज एंड सच एरिया विच हैव वेरी स्कॉर्स रेन वेरी रफ एंड वेरी थिन लेयर ऑफ अनफर्टाइज सॉयल एंड दीज आर थार्नी फाइल दीज टेम्परेट स्क्रब्स आर फाउंड टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर स्पेशली ओवर द हिमालयन रीजन दीज आर नॉट सो मच थार्नी हैव लीव्स एंड दीज बियर सम वेरी साइट्रस फ्रूट्स लाइक एपल ऑरेंज एंड दीज प्रोड्यूस द टेम्परेट फ्रूट्स कॉन्ट्रेरी टू इट इन द ट्रॉपिकल फ्रूट्स देयर आर हार्नी फ्रूट्स लाइक बेर एंड अदर्स दीज आर द टू टाइप्स ऑफ स्क्रब्स फाउंड इन इंडिया विच हैव ए नंबर ऑफ वेराइटीज नाउ कम टू द स्मॉलेस्ट स्पेसीज ऑफ द नेचुरल वेजिटेशन दैट इज ग्रास इन इंडिया देर आर टू रीजन्स एज इन वर्ल्ड देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ ग्रासेज वन ट्रॉपिकल द अदर टेम्परेट लाइक वाइज इन इंडिया ट्रॉपिकल सवाना ग्रासेज आर फाउंड एलॉन्ग द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर आर टू इट्स साउथ हियर एलॉन्ग द कैंसर इट इज सवाना ग्रास विच स्प्रेड्स इन द एम पी महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश एंड हियर उड़ीसा एंड इन राजस्थान इट इज सवाई ग्रास एंड इन महाराष्ट्र विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस ग्रास इन नेपा नगर देर हैज बीन देर हैज बीन इस्टेब्लिश्ड पेपर इंडस्ट्री दस दिस ट्रॉपिकल ग्रास इज ड्राई हैज लेस न्यूट्रिय बिकॉज इट ग्रोस इन सेमी एरिड रीजन वेयर लेन रेनफॉल इज लेस सॉयल इज नॉट फर्टाइल इट इज ब्लैक मिक्सड रेड एंड येलो नॉट एलुवियल दस दिस ग्रास इज न्यूट्रियट पुअर विच सपोर्ट्स ओनली पास्टोरल इंडस्ट्री एंड देन नेक्स्ट ग्रास इज टेम्परेट टेम्परेट ग्रास विच इज फाउंड टू द नॉर्थ ऑफ ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर एंड स्पेशली ओवर द हिमालयन रीजन इन द हिमालयन रीजन एलॉन्ग द साधारण स्लोप ऑफ ग्रेटर हिमालय एंड एलॉन्ग द द एलॉन्ग बोथ द स्लोप्स ऑफ द मिडिल हिमालय दिस सॉफ्ट ग्रास इज फाउंड एंड this soft grass uh, requires the average moisture of the atmosphere and soil which is found there there is some amount of rainfall in the form of snowfall this region receives the atmospheric and uh, pedological moisture that's why grasses are very soft and nutrient rich these uh, these are named especially For example, in Jammu and Kashmir, Marg; in Uttarakhand, Bugyal and Payal; and in North East India, they have their local names. And this grassland supports the pastoral industry there, especially Gaddi, Gujjar, Bhotia, uh, use this grass for their as a feeder for their animals and. this pastoral industry has a specific name in the himalayan region especially in north east himalayas as trans humans because during winter due to snowfall the pastoralist like gaddi gujjar bhotia come down in the lower valleys contrary to it in the in the summers when ice melts they go up in the greater himalayan region with their herds and this practice is called transhumans thus this temperate grass is very important resource for the economy of the tribals tribal pastorals in middle and in middle and greater himalaya these are the two important grasses in india thus this is about the natural vegetation 
वर्चुअली नेचुरल वेजिटेशन कॉन्सिस्ट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट श्रब्स स्क्रब्स एंड ग्रास लैंड्स दीज आर फाउंड समवेयर इन मिक्सड फार बट अकॉर्डिंग टू क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन समवेयर यूनिक एंड डिफरेंट आइडेंटिटी विच इज बूड फॉर द इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिया